गाइस वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग चैप्टर नंबर टू मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स अवर टुडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज प्रेशर ड्यू टू अ लिक्विड कॉलम व्हाट कुड बी द क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस टॉपिक इन द एग्जामिनेशन डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाय लिक्विड कॉलम एंड ऑन विच फैक्टर्स डज दिस प्रेशर डिपेंड so first of all i am going to describe this figure here you can see this is a container in which a liquid is filled up there is a air outside the container and there is a water inside the container and inside this water we are considering this imaginary cylinder having a cross sectional area a and height of the cylinder or depth of the liquid column is h so first of all while writing the answer first of all you have to write consider a liquid filled inside the container and the density of this liquid is rho suppose the area of cross section of the cylinder which is inside the liquid that area is a and suppose h is the height of the liquid column or cylinder height of the cylinder now as shown in figure suppose this weight of the liquid inside the cylinder it is exerting some force at the bottom of the cylinder i repeat again the weight inside the liquid column exerts a force at the bottom and this force is given by f is equal to mg where m is the mass of the liquid inside the cylinder and g is the acceleration due to gravity there so this is the force exerted by the liquid column at the bottom suppose this is equation number 1 now there is a pressure also if the force is exerted at the bottom is there is some pressure and this pressure exerted by the liquid column at the bottom of the cylinder is given by the formula p is equal to f upon a this is just the definition of pressure force per unit area is called as a pressure now if we put the value of f from equation 1 we get p is equal to mg upon a suppose this is equation number 2 but as you know that there is a relationship between mass density and volume and using that relation between mass density and volume we can write m is equal to rho into v where m is the mass of the liquid inside the cylinder rho is the density of the liquid and v is the volume of cylindrical column now but we know that there is a relationship between volume area and height also you can use that relation volume is equal to area into height means in short we can write it as v is equal to a into h so if we put this value of volume in this equation of mass we get m is equal to rho rho as it is and value of v is ah that is substituted in mass relation means mass density and volume relation so this value of m if we substitute in equation 2 what we get from equation 2 or suppose this is equation number 3 and you can write here from equations 2 and 3 means substituting the value from equation 3 in equation 2 we get p is equal to m now value of m is rho a h rho into a into h and into g as it is there g as it is upon area a now area from denominator and from numerator if cancelled we get p is equal to rho hg or you can also write it as h rho g and this is the expression for pressure exerted by the liquid column at the bottom of the cylinder now from this expression it is clear that the pressure depends on two things on what factors does it depend that was also the question here obtain the expression for pressure due to a liquid column 
and state on what factors does it depend. So you have to write the factors on what it depends. The first factor is depth of the liquid column or height of liquid column. Means greater the depth of liquid, greater is the pressure. If we go deeper inside the liquid column, the pressure also increases. So it depends on the depth. The second factor, it also depends on density of liquid. Rho, it depends on density. Means if liquid is changed at the same height, the pressure changes. In place of water, if we take another liquid, suppose kerosene, the pressure changes here at the same point. Means the pressure of liquid column depends on the density of liquid also. But it is also clear that it does not depend upon the area of liquid column. We used this area for obtaining the expression for pressure, but it does not depend on area of the liquid column. So, you have to remember this on what factors. We cannot say that it depends on acceleration due to gravity because it is a constant. It is constant on the surface of the earth. So, pressure depends on two things, height of the liquid column and density of the liquid. So, I hope that you must have understood this expression. It is very easy to understand. Just look at each and every step. Just remember it because it is a very important question.